What's up? It's the weekend, so that means it's time for some hood rat shit. Nah, just kidding. Not yet. <laughs> not see the little bump. It got me. Anybody need a bus? I know where you can get one. Real cheap. It's fun. I took the max lens off, so hopefully I don't have all that weird fish eye deal going on from my previous videos, but we'll see. I just took it off because I wanted to see if I got better quality without it. Because it seemed like it made all the... All the grass and everything look really pigmented and pixelated and all that good stuff, so... Figured I'd give this a shot without the max lens and see if I get any kind of better quality. Because I've not actually shot any vlogs with the regular lens. I just put the max lens on it. So, we'll see. We. So, in my first video after I, uh, after I posted my first rod after actually wrecking at the Dragon, I lost a subscriber. So I guess I'm going to have to wreck to actually gain subscribers. That's interesting. But, oh well. I don't plan on wrecking again, but you never know. I'm going to post every day. I'm going to do a challenge where I post every day until I beat this quote-unquote algorithm that, uh, everybody talks about until I actually get a regular amount of views as I post my videos because some of my videos I'll get five lo or five views and then obviously you're gonna get more views when you wreck I got 3,000 views so I think I'm just gonna post every day until I hit that break to where I'm actually getting a regular amount of viewers every single video. And obviously it's going to fluctuate, but... A 3,000% fluctuation is bizarre to me. So, hopefully I can get a decent amount of followers that are interested or entertained by my videos and go from there. And it kind of cracks me up because I thought my viewers would be closer to my age. But they're all about, based on YouTube analytics, is they're about twice my age. So that's interesting. And thank you to my subscriber that actually hit me up with a uh, a personal thumbnail for my video I'll have to try and figure out how to use that I have no idea how to actually use thumbnails it just auto generates I'm a baby when it comes to computer stuff I have never been computer sappy but I try my best I don't even have a computer I just use my phone and it's an Android. Somebody told me that they were using iMovie, but I don't think I can do that with an Android. I think that's, I think that's an Apple thing. So it's not doing me any good. Oh, they have this road closed off. I forgot.
come on, I know it's confusing this whole turning thing, but you'll figure it out. It's okay. How you doing? y'all seen that but that bug just jacked me right in the chest hello it's a little chilly it feels like it might rain yeah I said I'm gonna post a video every day so I've been videoing probably at least two to three videos a day so if it does rain, I at least have content to put out. I've done that before and I get anxious to upload as soon as I record it. So I ended up uploading like three or four videos in one day and then it rained for a week. So I had no content at all. So I'm gonna try and actually keep a couple on the back burner. That way if I have a day it rains and I can't upload, I'm not getting behind. Cause I really wanna do this challenge to where I upload a video every single day. I've said it I'm an I'm a numbers nerd so I'm on my YouTube looking at my views probably hey how you doing just so y'all know I'm not across the line I'm three feet from the right side you'll probably say I passed the stop sign but I didn't it's right there I forgot what I was saying I get distracted when I almost get ran over by a 6,000 pound truck. Um, no, I'm probably on my YouTube looking at my, vi my views and all comments. Probably every bit of a dozen times a day. Just because I'm a nerd when it comes to the numbers. And if y'all comment, I actually... I respond to every single comment I get as far as I know if I've missed any that's my bad but I do try and uh, comment back on every single comment because I hate when I comment on people's stuff and get no response it's like ah oh, thanks for that uh, thanks for that response Kyle so nice out today. Air just feels cold like it's gonna rain. So we'll see. This sky's pretty though. But if it rains I'll probably go jeeping. Go whip the jeep. Get her all muddy. Good times. Did y'all's face ever itch when you're riding? And it's always that one spot you can't get, like right on the corner of my lip. It never fails. Oh, story time. After my wreck, I rode my motorcycle up to the ballpark one night. And, uh, of course, my face mask broke off or face shield windshield whatever you want to call it my face shield broke off of my helmet so I had it taped on because I had a two and a half hour ride back after I crashed at the dragon and I rode 30 minutes my face was itching like crazy and there was nothing I could do about it mm, good times so that was a fun exciting experience I don't know if I was even recording. It's awkward enough talking to yourself on mic, but I shot a video yesterday and my camera died and I didn't have any idea I was talking 
for probably a solid 45 minutes to myself. No camera on. I got, I think, seven minutes of footage. And the rest of the time was just me talking to myself. Which is fun. I talk to myself anyway. In a non schizophrenic way. This is all new, so I always get turned around when I'm up here. It's weird because I was born and raised up here, but they added this whole new road that cuts across the center of town. Literally right through the center of town. And this was all farmland, so it's uh it confuses me because I have no idea where I'm at, even when I know where I'm at, if that makes sense. Like all the roads look different until you turn off and then everything goes back to normal. Made some good memories on this road. I was just doing hood rat stuff in my Camaro and I was like, oh, I'm going to do a burnout at this four-way. That'll be fun. And I was in high school, you know, just showing off. And I was like, nobody's ever around this little area. I'll just do a burnout right here. And I was sitting at this stop sign right here, power break, smoke rolling probably all the way across the interstate. I was like, all right, I'm good. Let off of it. Smoke cleared. And wouldn't you know it, my uncle's sitting there just staring at me laughing. I thought I was going to get in trouble, but he just thought it was funny. That was the slowest, longest ride home of my life. Good memories. good toms I do that crap all the time I just shift to the wrong gear just newbie squid stuff I guess the day I got my bike home I, or the day I bought my bike I was so nervous I was actually on this road now that I think about it and I was just riding around and I was like I'm just gonna take it slow and steady just ease it home till I get used to it just driving along, shifting, second gear, third gear, went to go to fourth gear, hit second, literally stood the bike up on one wheel. It's like, ah, oh, that's how you do that. Pooped my pants. Not literally, but I was pooping. That was fun. Learning experience. And I've only stalled my bike probably four times the entire time I've had it. But wouldn't you know it, every single time has been in an intersection at a four-way with 600 people sitting, just waiting. It's, ah, you know, it's not when you're by yourself on a country road, it's in the middle of town, in an intersection, four-way, red light, you name it. It's always the most awkward possible timing. I doubt y'all want to see me sit in traffic at this stop sign, so until next one, I'll see y'all later.